Your Oculus is essentially just an Android smartphone stuck inside of a face mask. And because of that, you can easily connect it to your computer and navigate through the files, either putting files on it or taking files off of it, just like you would do with your phone. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, I've got this long ass cord that's connected to my computer. Now, one thing is very important that you wait until you put this on your face before plugging it in. At least in my experience, whenever I have plugged this in before putting it on my face, I just get a black screen. Even though I hear it connect, I never get the prompt. But maybe it'll be different in your case. But just to be safe, first put this on your face, then plug it in. So now that I've got this on my face, I am going to plug this in by feeling around on the side for the hole. And voila, as soon as you plug it in, we get this prompt. Allow access to data. The connected device will be able to access files on this headset. Go ahead and allow. Once you've clicked the allow button, now if you open up your folder browser, you'll notice that you have a quest to menu link. And so once you click that, you're taken to the root of the device and you can go ahead and go inside of there. Now, if you're looking for any of the pictures that you've taken um, with your camera on Horizon or any of the footage that you've recorded using uh, the device recorder, they're going to be inside of the Oculus folder. Now, if you're an Android user, you may think that they're inside of DCIM, but they're not inside of DCIM. They're actually inside of Oculus. So you'll go inside of Oculus and then you've got these three folders. If you look inside of screenshots, these are all of the uh, screenshots that you've taken. If you look inside of video shots, this is all of the videos that you've taken. And what you can do is you can easily, so I'll show you what I do. I'm just gonna put one side over here and put the other side over here. On this side, on this side over here, I have the Oculus headset. On this side over here, I have one of my local drives. And you see I've got a directory up here for Oculus recordings. I actually organize all of my folders by date. And so since today is the 14th, I'm going to create a new folder, 3-14-22. And since this is going to be the first transfer of the day, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And I'm just going to name it number one. And so now I'll take all of the videos videos and I'm going to cut them off of the device that way it frees back up that storage so now they'll come from off of the device onto the computer and if I hit the uh, view you can see here's those uh, videos and if we come in next and do screenshots Here are those screenshots. And so as you can see, we've got pictures from that I've taken from inside of Horizon. Now, one final thing. I do not recommend that you just yank this cord out of your headset. Um, it's possible to corrupt the hard drive that way. When it comes to me and my experience, anytime I try to eject it, eject the headset the official way, I always get an error. So if I go to eject MPT, MTP, I get the Windows can't stop your Oculus error prompt. So what I do is I put the headset back on and power it down until I hear that it's been disconnected from the computer. So I'll just put it on, hold the button down. You'll see where it says power off and then it'll shut down. And once I hear that noise, I pull it out because I know that it is, has been safely disconnected from the computer. That's all. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment. Peace.